while there is plenty of is it worth it, which is a question, uh, and plenty of it's not worth it, which is a feeling of, of extreme grief and remorse. Um, but there's also a sense of whether you're a Republican or Democrat or you know, hawk or dove, there is a yearning on the part of the military to have political leaders and uh, people outside of the military take the intense cost of war, the deep cost of war, and I don't mean the high cost of war because it's a different thing, this, this profound cost yeah. of war into their calculations when they speak of whether we're going yes. to go to war or not, and that is absent. And this is what they want, mm -hmm. and that's a really striking, striking and worthy, yeah. it seems to me, lesson from, from uh, an investigation from a journalist. Yeah, um, one of the places I went was Aberdeen Proving Ground, which they do a lot of testing of, well, weapons, but also the vehicles uh, in which personnel travel around, and they were working on... Um, uh, essentially a crash test dummy, but for underbody blast. So, you know, a car crash dummy, you know, you're either thrown forward or you're, you're hit from the side or it's a head-on, and the, you know, it's, it's this way and this way, whereas when a bomb goes off under your vehicle, the force is coming up from below, and there is no crash test dummy for that, so they're developing one. And when you develop a crash test dummy, whether it's for cars or um, personnel carriers, you start with cadavers, because you need, you know, the, the dummy will tell you how much force, but you need to know what will that force do to a body, so there's some systematic work done with cadavers, and at some point, um, this project, at the very last minute, they were actually wiring these cadavers, and someone at the Pentagon um, shut it down, and said, I just don't, you know, it, it, it was a question of personal ethics, and I can't have this happen, anyway, it was a big stink, and finally they got it reinstated, etc., and this guy was telling me this story, and he said, well, one, uh, he said, that, you know, they finally, it went ahead, the test, the cadaver test went ahead, and he said, it's the, it's the first cadaver uh, test I've seen where we had three and four star generals present. And he said, and that's what was great, because they need to see what actually is going on inside these vehicles. Some of them don't know, you know, and, and, it, and I said in the book that it's like, yeah, it's, let's not worry so much about the dead, let's worry about the living. 